of course. Hey, Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We're looking at another one from the uh, literature comic or comic greats line. I don't know what they're calling it. Um, I'm just going to call it comic pack figure. And we're looking at the mislabeled Carnor Jax, based on the appearance of uh, Crimson Empire, which in fact the character is in fact Kirkanos, which is, uh, or Kirkanos, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it is part of the 50th anniversary Lucasfilm sort of subline that they're putting out this year. He's on the side. You know, by the time everyone, by the time the fans actually pointed out to Hasbro that they'd stuff this one up, it was too late. It was already in production. It was already en route to the stores. But uh, nonetheless, really nicely displayed packaging. Um, I think it's missing a comic book. <laughs> I think that would have been great. Like even if it's just a reprint, like the Dark Horse ones used to come with the uh, three and three quarter inch comic back comic packs back in the day. I think this would, uh, you know, they should do that with some comic characters, and that would, uh, you know, get more focused into the comics. There's the back of the packaging, but uh, I'm going to be opening this one up. So let's crack it open and have a look. All right, here he is out of the packaging. And uh, yeah, as you can see, for the most part, this is an Emperor's Royal Guard with some ever so slight repaints, different cape, different weapon. Um, so yeah, they've given him some slightly added sort of black details to the sort of undergarments there. Not undergarments, but under armor sort of stuff. Um, he does have the pistol sort of in the holster there, but he does come with this double, double bladed weapon, which actually looks pretty damn good. It's a nice, nice looking accessory. And uh, the cape, you know, if you had it in the box, you wouldn't know because the way they've sort of tucked it in there, but it does have this very shimmery, shiny purple on the inside. Which, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It's, uh, I get the, I, I, I sort of understand the idea. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit, a little bit too much, I think, for me. I think just a sort of a, a matte sort of, you know, like a dark dark purple or something like this, rather than the glimmery shininess of that, um, would have been would have been fine. But uh, it is what it is. We've got it. I I paid money for it. <laughs> I have it now. Um, it's fine. But uh, yeah, I, f I feel like some of the molding on the plastic it sort of feels a little bit cheap in comparison to. Um, the Emperor's Royal Guards previously. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Mostly I think the visor there, which is barely painted on. Like that's, it's barely black. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go over that with my own paint. But uh, I really like the look of the, uh, the armor. I never got around to, I never ended up reading the uh, Crimson Empire series. I, I remember starting it, but I never really got too far with it. So I'm, I'm not super knowledgeable about these characters. Um, the, uh, this being Kirkanos and uh, Carnal Jax, which is, his, his arm is more black. Um, but yeah, I believe, I believe that they're rivals. It's cool, I dig it. It's a nice opportunity to get some different characters out. Um, and you know, there are some big fans of the uh, the old Dark Horse comics. So this is this is a bonus for all them, all the people that were big fans of those comics. So <clears throat> even even if Hasbro did get the name wrong. So yeah, but the articulation's all standard. Um, they didn't even change the hands, so he's still got the sort of hands. Um, that were holding the old force pikes, but I kind of like the. Uh, it's almost got like a bit of a. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. I do wish they'd sort of 
sculpt the helmets in a bit of a softer plastic just so they can move a little bit because you don't get a lot of side to side movement there. I could run under some boiled water to soften up so I can twist it, get it to where it is and then just let it cool down so I can get a sort of a cool, cool action pose. So like I said, not terrible. I, I do like the Emperor's Royal Guards. I think they're a cool looking helmet, cool design. And this doesn't look terrible at all. Um, I wasn't initially going to pick up any of these beyond, uh, yeah, beyond the other one, the mole, the Darth Mole that I got. Um, but again, it's it's something that's available, it's new. And uh Yeah, sometimes I can't be helped. <laughs> it could be worse things in life that I'm addicted to, so. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts guys. Please drop them drop a head drop please drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'll learn how to speak before the day is out, I promise. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that'd be absolutely awesome and uh i'll be back with some more videos coming very soon so stay tuned until then may the force be with you always